the grand finale. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the 10th episode of this year's Pura Sabor Festival, our virtual Pura Sabor of 2021. What a journey it has been. What a tremendous series of beautiful, beautiful conversations, inspiring experiences and memorable moments with some of the icons of the premium cigar industry. And we had to finish on high. And so I am truly honored and grateful to share this last episode, not only with my exceptional hosts right over in Dubai, who will be with you in a second, but with two very special guests that have shaped the Nicaraguan cigar industry and Nicaraguan cigar scene for decades. It is my pleasure and my honor to welcome Dr. Alejandro Martinez Cuenca and Omar Otez. Gentlemen, thank you so much for doing us the honors and thank you for being here with us tonight for the grand finale of this year's Pure Sabor. Welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Reinhardt. Uh, thank you all uh, the participants in this uh, episode. Uh, it looks, it sounds like uh, Netflix, you know, one episode, uh, it never ends. It's like the pandemic, it never ends. You know, there is one episode and then there is the next and there is the next, there is the next. But now we're getting, we are reaching the 10th of our own episodes. Reinhardt, thank you very much for giving me uh, you, uh, the opportunity to say hi to all of you. I regret deeply that uh, we cannot do it in person. Obviously, this is part of this Netflix gaming, which we are, you know, until the pandemic is over. I just would like to share with you for more than 19 months, I have been secluded. Uh, God thanks, I got vaccinated finally. Uh, but uh, Nicaragua has been affected by the pandemia as much as it has been affected around the world. So thank you for the opportunity. And if we cannot uh, see each other and embrace each other as I would like to, uh, my thanks for being present here. And tremendously honored to be accompanied by one of the persons which I considered for Nicaraguan tobacco industry, one of the most important personalities who really very silently and following his own way of doing things very silently has been a tremendous contributor for our industry. So I feel honored to be part of this uh, episode with Omar and I wish you also will feel the same. Thank you. So how do we go? Omar, do you want to say anything? Okay. Buenas tardes a todos. Eh, muy agradecido por, eh, a ver, por la invitación de la cámara. Eh, realmente es un honor estar con ustedes, poder este, compartirlo. Eh, a pesar de, como decía el doctor Martínez, a pesar de la pandemia, a pesar de todo lo que ha pasado, He said that um, he is uh, honored to be on the last episode, that he thanks the chamber to uh, invite him to be on this episode, that as Dr. Martinez Cuenca said, even though the pandemic uh, has been uh, hard to Nicaragua. Eh, le doy gracias también a los miembros de la Cámara que hemos recorrido todo este tiempo, que estamos vivos, que estamos en el negocio, Que estamos en la actividad. He especially wants to thank all the members of the chamber that he thinks that we are alive, that we're working, and that we're smoking. <laughs> right. That's wonderful. Thank you both for your your wonderful words and for for opening the show together with us. But let's go over to our dear brother, our dear friend, right in Dubai. From the Leaf Masters, right? Uh, thank you so much for this wonderful journey that you and I shared over the past months, and welcome to our grand finale. 
Great. Thank you, sir. It's it's as always an absolute honor to be with you. Thank you for your trust. Thank you, thank you, the chamber for your trust in us. Uh, it's indeed an honor to be with Dr. Martinez and with Mr. Omar on this final one. Uh, I'm very excited. The amount of messages I've been receiving about people being very excited about this session is honestly uh endearing and 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 it means a lot it just gives me goosebumps thinking about the kind of feedback we've been getting honestly thank you for this opportunity most definitely and uh, right before i i let you fire away with with our very first questions for for tonight's session bear with us because during this show we will talk about rights and the Leaf Masters fantastic initiative regarding the unique and bespoke uh, series of uh, Nicaraguan cigar accessories that you have created and the wonderful charity around it with um, the live auction of these beautiful tools. But we will also announce our raffle winners for the ongoing raffle that we had for this year's Pura Sabor with two incredible prizes, and that will be tickets to the 2022 Puro Sabor Festival in Nicaragua. And we also have three boxes of cigars from all the members of the chamber in Nicaragua waiting for our lucky winners. So we have five special raffle prizes and we will give them away during today's show. But let's get things rolling right fire away. Sure, perfect. Okay. Uh, it's becoming a sort of a tradition to start the show with a bit of a macro question, a question that basically sets the stage for the kind of questions we're going to have thereafter uh, by looking at this from, a, from an overall and holistic uh, view. How do you gentlemen see the past 40 years? years as an amazing growth story, as an amazing success story, as a wonder in the cigar industry of Nicaragua. I'm talking here to two fathers of the industry as far as Nicaragua is concerned. What would be your take or how would you describe the, 40, the past 40 years for yourself? Well, Dr. Martinez, can we start with you? Okay. Thank you for the question. And obviously, uh, it's a very interesting and full of stories that we cannot uh, uh, spend more time, a lot of time on each one of them because it will take us a new session or a new when when, when the sessions in in Netflix, in Netflix are over, then there, there is another episode. <laughs> <laughs> so each one has his own episode, I think. Uh, but uh, in, in general terms, I, I, I see that in the case of Nicaragua, uh, Nicaragua has done a tremendous jump from an unbelievable level where things were very traditional, very, mod, uh, very uh, uh, experimental in some cases, to becoming really uh, professionals, particularly the side of production of tobacco. I think we would not be here had it not been because after the boom of 1990, uh, there was this shock with all, which was felt by all of us, producers of tobacco and manufacturers of cigars. It was tremendously when the boom was over. And that forced us to really introduce the technical know-how and the improvements in the production of tobacco and the quality of tobacco started to jump to the sky. Tobacco from Nicaragua today, in my own uh, humble uh, experience, has, has really uh, not only grown in terms of of people who like it, but the quality itself has improved so much. The, the fermentation process of the tobaccos, uh, even the, 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 the cultivation of the tobaccos, the fighting the different uh, epidemics that the soils may get, 
you know, and how to do it, maintaining and improving the quality of what we produced. So 14 years back, I still remember Omar, where, when, uh, and I, I can go even further, I would say the last uh, 30, 35 years, uh, when uh, getting a bale of tobacco, it was necessary to really work on it, really do a lot of work of fermentation and patience and dedication. Uh, and those were very difficult times. And we came from those times in a very persevering manner to the state where we are. So uh, not only tobacco did, did it grow, capacities, infrastructures, but also the human factor. The human factor jumped, jumped to a quality of production, productivity, unimaginable. Obviously, that doesn't happen by surprise. Uh, you have to have policies uh, that encourage that you have a labor force that is, sus that is sustainable and at the same time that really they, as human factors, uh, start passionate about what they are doing. And I think that's the greatest thing ever happening in this country. And I would even say it without generalizing that uh, for us, we've been very happy and very lucky to be able to uh, put together a group of producers, uh, manufacturers, at the same time, workers who really become passionate about what they're doing. And that makes a, a hell of a difference. When you have in more, more than just simple interest for a salary, or what they are going to pay you at the end of the day. If you, if you don't love what you're doing, you're not going to do it well, no matter how much you, money you offer them to, to be paid. And so the fact that, that Nicaragua has changed radically in that sense, the human factor has improved, the, the, the stability of the labor force is so important for producing not only the tobaccos, but the cigars in the manufacturing process. And all of that happened in the, in the last 14 years, uh, which I think is without, not, without, uh, with, without underestimating whatever we did before that time. We did a lot of things to then, but I think uh, the, the culmination of our efforts started to give results, real results, 14 years from back to today. And when I see the figures of what Nicaragua is producing, comparing with other brothers and sisters, countries where they also produced similar products or, or tobacco products, how we jumped. It's not accidental. It is the consequence of something. And I would stop there so that uh, we get Omar also give his own view on this matter. Thank you for the question. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Omar. Buenas tardes. Nuevamente, Nicaragua eh, ha vivido prácticamente cuatro etapas en el tabaco. Eh, los, cuando iniciamos en los años 60 con el tabaco negro, pues lo que es el tabaco habano, las capas, eh, después eh, la época en, en los 80, cada década ha tenido su incidencia, después en el año 90 y eh, hasta nuestros días. Um, he said that uh, the tobacco in Nicaragua has been through four uh, periods of time. The 60s, uh, the 60s, before the 60s, when we began in the tobacco with the black or Habano tobacco, then the 80s, and now the 90s, and now our time. Okay. 
el micrófono. Mute. I think Omar is muted again. En los años 60 y, y en los años 70, la producción de Nicaragua fue una producción de, eh, mayormente de capa. Eh, en los años 80 hubo una transformación de la, del tabaco hacia eh, producciones que se dirigieron a los cigarrillos. Y el, ya en el año 90 eh, comenzamos con las producciones mayormente de tripa. Fue un cambio este, sustancial. Y el efecto en los años, en el año 2000, en adelante, que ya fue la producción industrial. From the 60s to the 70s, we had a tobacco production of 100% wrapper. From the 80s, uh, we started growing tobacco for cigarillos. And the 90s, we started with the filler production of tobacco. And from 2000 to our times, it was the industrialization of the tobacco growing. Aquí en la, la industria, nosotros nos dedicamos a las exportaciones de capa hacia las producciones de Estados Unidos y Europa. Eh, tenemos íconos de la producción, eh, prácticamente los que representaban el país, la fábrica de Padrón, con su marca Padrón y Joya de Nicaragua, que es la que, la que representaban prácticamente la industria nicaragüense. So we began with the exportation of rubber tobacco to the U.S. and we had two big names in the industry, Padrón and Joya de Nicaragua. Creo que, como decía el doctor Martínez Cuenca, cuando iniciamos en 1990, este, iniciamos con una industria pequeña que no representaba mucho eh, en relación a los otros países como Honduras y República Dominicana. Pero este, el país fue tomando el ritmo hasta llegar a la época del boom de 1995. He agrees with Dr. Martinez Cuenca that in the 1990s, we were a small exporting country of tobacco in comparison with Honduras and Dominican Republic. But we had our boom in the 1995. Creo que incidió mucho eh, esa experiencia de 1995 a 1998 porque dejó, eso dejó sus huellas de la, del tabaco de Nicaragua aunque, se, aunque hayamos tenido un impacto negativo después de 1998. From 1995 to 1998, we had our signature of the, in the tobacco industry in Nicaragua, even if we had a slow down in 1998. Otro aspecto muy importante fue cuando el tabaco o la industria tomó ya un ritmo sostenible a partir de 2003. Fueron creciendo las industrias hasta llegar a arrancar en el año 2007, que fue donde tuvimos el mayor impacto de, de la producción industrial. El tabaco... 2003, it's when we started a sustainable production, or, but our biggest uh, production numbers were reached in 2007. In nuestra zona, que es Estelí, Condega, Jalapa, la, el norte del país, que es donde tenemos la producción, la mayor parte de la producción, eh, la incidencia del establecimiento de las industrias eh, tuvo, tuvo incidencia e impacto en la economía, en la transformación de la mano de obra del campo hacia la ciudad. Y los obreros agrícolas o que trabajaban en otras zonas o en otros rubros se convirtieron en maestros de la producción de tabaco. Uh, 
our region, which is Esteli, Condega, and Jalapa, which is the tobacco region of Nicaragua, um, it, grow, it grew with the implementation of the cigar factories. Other people that used to work at the fields or in another industries right now there are the masters of the production of cigars in our region. Los cambios de la los cambios que han habido en la en la en lo que es el campo en la producción de tabaco en el campo y en la industria se dejan ver en los cambios en nuestra tecnología. Eh, el cambio que hemos notado nosotros, eh, el esfuerzo que se ha hecho de los fabricantes para posicionar a Nicaragua eh, en el mejor lugar eh, del mercado del tabaco. I agree. Uh, the changes that uh, we as tobacco industry, industry have done in Nicaragua, it's innovation in technology and in the quality of the production. Our goal is to position Nicaragua as the number one quality producer of cigars. Thank you. We have met that, that goal. You sure have, you sure have. Reinhard, over to you. So first of all, many thanks for, for, for those opening statements and the, the in-depth insights that you shared on, on the, the very first question. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious, um, uh, Dr. Martinez Cuenca, you, you made cigars for, for JFK, for the White House way back in the days. You've seen Nicaragua's highs and the lows. Um, how do you think about the current state of the nation and the current state of, of the industry? after all those years and decades of ups and downs and trends, booms and busts? I feel more comfortable talking about the industry today uh, because I think uh, uh, it, what we should center at the moment is, is it sustainable what we have reached in spite of the, the noise? Well, I, I frankly believe it is sustainable. It's sustainable for many more years. Uh, not because there is the, 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 the wish of, of one individual, myself or Mar or all producers. Uh, it is the fact that uh, what made us uh, be fruitful with our effort has been based on things that are going to be there regardless of what happened in the, in the rest of the environment. That is the soil, the type of technological changes that have been introduced, uh, the, the fact that the sun continues to rise the same place and go down the same place and stays where it has to stay for our plants to really rip and grow and enrich and enrich themselves of those rays of sun that we receive every day which is like a blessing the blessing of the universe i say that is going to stay regardless of what is happening with the environment i think the soil continues to be treated friendly and continues to be used in the most adequate manner to be friendly with the environmental problems that exist, no questions about it, regardless of the political position that sometimes people take on these matters. Uh, so the, the fundamental parts of the industry are there to stay. Uh, obviously, you need to have policies friendly to the industry. You need to have policies which are generated by politicians uh, in regard to lo uh, how friendly you want to be in regard to labor la labor policies that uh, that are responsible that take care of the basic requirements which is give a sustainable level of income to 
everyone who is involved in the industry. And I think um, uh, this is uh, more, more unstable in some parts, okay? If the environment gets too, too noisy, you know, they may end up he uh, hitting that important elements that had to make possible what we are now reaching. But I've, I, I, I t always take a, a, an optimistic view rather than the pessimistic view. And the optimism that this is a sustainable trend, uh, I think uh, is, is what I want to emphasize. It's a sustainable, uh, that regardless of the noise around, as long as people continue to improve their quality of products, regardless of the name of the company that produces it, as long as we keep in our minds that at the end of the day, we are producing a product for enjoyment to those who buy our product. And as long as the people start to like those uh, different uh, tastes and, and blendings that we are able to put together in the cigar, and as long as there is demand for it, I think Nicaragua can sustain its, its position. Obviously, it, it will all depend what the other brothers and sisters in other countries do, you know. Uh, but again, that shouldn't be like seen as a challenge or as a, a menace. Rather, we should look at it as a, an opportunity, an opportunity to continue to do that quantic jump that the industry has been able to do along the last 14 years of its history. A history that goes back centuries, because by the way, without undermining anyone's marketing strategy, uh, the fact that tobacco has been here for centuries, not years, centuries, is a fact. The way, it, the same way it was in other countries, like in, in Honduras or or Cuba or, or Dominican Republic, you know. So the, the important thing is not to just feel satisfied when you mention, and I'm sorry, um, uh, uh, Ryan, you mentioned about uh, the fact that uh, we've been in the White House back in the 1970s, of which we, we, feel, we feel very honored of that, you know, but as a, as a company, we feel very honored but that is not the point, as important as it is, uh, the, the point is that the sustainability of, of, of what we have achieved, that can be sustained, that, 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 that is there, okay? And this, that, that, will, that is what I wanted to emphasize in this uh, opportunity. I'm sorry, Reinhard, thank you. That's brilliant. Um Mr. Ortez, how, how do you feel about what's currently happening in the market? How do you feel about the changes that you see that affect your daily work in, in the fields, on the Galera floor, with the people that you have working around you? How, how do you see it on, on a daily basis with everything that's happening right now? In the production. Sorry, sorry, we have a technical issue, so now he will be here. Okay. Este, nosotros creemos y estamos seguros de que como hay tanta participación eh, en la industria, que no solo es la fábrica, sino que eh, también la finca, la producción de hojas, la fermentación... En, en los que están integrados muchas personas eh, hay entusiasmo en seguir tenemos toda la fe somos, optim eh, somos optimistas en que vamos a seguir avanzando y eh, tratando de hacer las cosas mejor para sostener 
eh, la posición de Nicaragua en el mercado. Thank you. Tenemos, tenemos el deseo de trabajar, tenemos la, todos los recursos para, como la tierra, los conocimientos y, y ese entusiasmo que nos lleva a, a mantener eh, nuestra producción, nuestro rubro, nuestros sueños en mantener el tabaco siempre eh, como una opción que va caminando hacia el futuro. Nosotros como tabacaleros tenemos sueños y pensamos en hacer todo lo mejor, en avanzar y en hacer las cosas lo mejor posible. I share completely his comments. I don't know if somebody's translating him. MJ is here. She, she will take care of that, I believe. MJ, would you like to do it through the, through the same device, maybe, since you're sitting next to each other and uh, maybe translate right away? Yeah. MJ, you cannot be heard. You need to get closer to the speaker. Hold on. Hello. Sí. Te escuchamos. Sí. Te escuchamos. Acerca el micrófono, el micrófono a tu boca. Aló, ahora sí. No me escucho. Well, it, can, can, while they get settled on, on that issue, uh, Reinhardt, for the benefit of all those who have uh, been uh, uh, present in this episode, we, we probably can move uh, to, uh, to, to give time for Omar to settle down. And uh, so we take the opportunity that since we cannot see each other presently, now we're seeing your faces and I don't want anyone to be discouraged for technical reasons. Uh, uh, and so, um, if you want to pose any any other question, while well, they take care of that, and then we come back to the to the issue, please feel free to do so, Reinhardt, if you recommend so. Many thanks. Good Good time. Time. Great pleasure. Yeah. me escucha? Sí, se escucha. Sí, sí. Muy bien. Me, Reinhard, ¿me escucha? Yes. Ok. Sí, perfecto. Ok, okay gracias. Disculpen. Una falla técnica. No está, no está en nuestras manos. That's all good. No worries. We won't let any technical issues get in the way of such a wonderful conversation and learning from your vast experience. So um, maybe if, if MJ is still by your side, then she could uh, continue translating a few of your last thoughts, please. Yes. Can you hear me now? That's perfect, MJ. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, as, sorry about that. As Omar was saying, uh, we as tobacco people in Nicaragua, we have a dream. The dream is to keep making cigars. We have the land and the knowledge to keep our, our dream going. And um, our dream is to keep the uh, tobacco industry strong in Nicaragua and that uh, give a job to the people, to the labor force that we have. And we have the two most important uh, items, the land and the knowledge of our people. Nosotros contamos con, con el personal, con los trabajadores. Somos un equipo para mantener la industria. Hay entusiasmo en que todo lo que tengamos que hacer lo hagamos bien. 
nos hace falta el festival presencial? We have a, a labor force. We are a team in the tobacco industry. We are missing the Puro Sabor Festival. Pero sabemos de que el próximo año vamos a estar eh, juntos disfrutando de, de, de todas las ideas, de todo lo, lo que nosotros tenemos pensado hacer para mantenerlo. Nicaragua tiene todas las condiciones para, hacer, para mantenerse y para crecer. He said that next year we hope to see all of you guys here. We can share ideas and Nicaragua has all the combination to keep growing. Well put. So let me continue with an, an, the, the thought that you both just mentioned. Um, what I particularly like is, is the way you talk about the people, the way you talk about the community and how the, the, the social cultural aspects of the industry make people come closer. It brings us all together. It unites us from all walks of life, from all ends of the earth, but also in particular, the people in, in, in Nicaragua. When you think about that, besides the data, the numbers and the economical impact that the cigar industry has had on Nicaragua, what is the cultural aspect and the, and the depth and weight of, of that social impact that you have seen over the last decades with Nicaragua and its people? Tremendous, tremendous impact. Uh, it has given, I'm sorry, I take the, the floor. Uh, uh, It has given people uh, the, the feeling of security, that they can come into the fields or into the factories or in, uh, do their work with tremendous uh, passion, I would say. That's one of the things that I love the most and I miss the most when I'm, I cannot be on the floor. Uh, seeing the faces of, the, of each punchers and, uh, and rollers, the way they work, you know, they, they, they don't see work as, uh, well, it, it's hard, it's hard, let me tell you. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, they see that that industry in particular, cigar manufacturing, tobacco, is a, is, is a reliable source of their security in terms of their income, in terms of their movement in society, because they improve the, the, the level of living and therefore become more active in other areas too. But uh, that improvement of the human factor uh, is something that cannot be an underestimated. I get worried when I see reports of people fleeing, looking for better opportunities, Well, uh, we have been also affected by that sentiment in, 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 in certain parts of the industry that people, even though you, you, they have a reliable, secured salaries and conditions for work and treatment as a human being, they, they still opt to take even greater chances, move out and try to go and immigrate to other countries. But, uh, The industry in Nicaragua has been a tremendous, con a, 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 like a buffer. Uh, it has allowed people to really see the country, which is theirs, as their own. That's that's where I was born, and that's where I'm going to die. Okay, and with security. What they don't want to feel is the uncertainty, and I, and that, I think that happens to any human being. Uncertainty is the enemy of us because it creates a, and, and generates those feelings of instability. Uh, however, I can say categorically, the industry, the way it is right now working, is a, has done its job to retain as many persons as possible <laughs> if you like that business, if you like that activity that you are doing. 
So it, the rest is a matter of individual choices, okay? But we try to give them the opportunity to improve uh, and, and probably it sounds a little bit uh, with lack of humility. It's not that we give them. They give us the passion to continue working and they give us the know-how of how to improve what we want to be improved. And they follow that path with tranquility. Uh, so from the cultural point of view, just to try to go down to the question that Reinhard had just said, I believe that uh, the, the culture in, of the labor force is one that tremendously friendly with our, with our own industry. Um, proof of that is that uh, we have good relations, working relations. Uh, we don't have any conflicts in regard to uh, labor policies. Uh, and that's why I said, as long as those labor policies that are dictated by the politicians, keep in mind that the stability, not only of that industry, but of the source of income that the country requires is based on that, you know. And I think uh, uh, we, all, we all feel that there is a clear understanding of that, regardless of the rumors and regardless of the noise that sometimes go around our actions and our industry. Uh, and with that, I'll give Omar time to, to really reflect and share with you his own thoughts. These are my thoughts. Partimos de que fabricar un puro para que lograr un buen producto, tenemos que tener amor a ese trabajo. No solamente eh, integrarnos a hacer el puro por un salario. He said that we begin with the point that to make a good cigar, you have to love what you do, not just make a cigar to get a payment. Hacerlo puro, hacer, eh, trabajar en el tabaco, eh, es considerado por las personas como un oficio que le garantiza el sustento de su familia, de ellos y de su familia. To, uh, to work in the cigar industry, to make a cigar, it's a job that will give you the stability and the means to sustain your family. Para que lograr los objetivos que nosotros nos proponemos en la industria, tiene que haber química entre los dueños de las compañías y los trabajadores. To achieve our goals, it has to be a chemistry between the uh, cigar factory owners and the labor force. Eso lo hemos logrado a través de la relación directa que tenemos con los trabajadores. We have achieved that through the direct relationship we have with the workers. Somos un equipo que tenemos un mismo objetivo. We are a team that we have one goal in common. No solo depende del tabaco eh, que lleva el puro. Not de only depends on the tobacco uh, for the cigar. Depende de hacer la mezcla perfecta que le guste al fumador. Depends on making the correct blend that the smoker will enjoy. Entonces todos ponemos eh, eh, un granito de arena para que todo nos salga perfecto. So we all contribute to get a perfect job. Los que trabajamos en la industria tenemos seguridad cuando nos integramos a la fábrica. When we start working at a cigar factory or at the fields, we, we have a security, we feel secure. Cuando compartimos en el campo nuestro trabajo para obtener la materia prima para hacer los, los puros. The same at the farms when we share our work to cultivate the tobacco. Esto no puede funcionar si no hay eh, esa relación de amistad y de cariño entre los trabajadores, entre los que formamos la industria. This can work if there is not a relationship and a friendship relationship between the, all the workers and the people from the factories. 
no, no podemos obtener productos eh, que sean aceptados y demandados en el mercado si no hay tranquilidad. Y esa la tenemos en lo que es eh, el rubro del tabaco. If we feel secure, if workers, the labor force feels secure, they will do a good job and then you will end up smoking a good cigar. Nosotros podemos ver en este momento, cuando hay una demanda alta de puros, cómo se integran los trabajadores en jornadas extras para poder, para poder cumplir con el mercado. We see that friendship relationship. Right now, when we are at a peak point of production, when workers stay longer making cigars so we can fulfill our demand. Hay un esfuerzo conjunto para poder cumplir. We all work together to fulfill our, the demand. Y eso, eso le pone más sabor al producto. And that gives the product a be better flavor. Con, con, yo considero que la industria está compuesta por gente que ama, que quiere el tabaco. Cigar industry is with people that love and enjoy tobacco. Eh, nuestra, nosotros nos integramos de manera tranquila, con alegría, con entusiasmo, cuando eh, estamos haciendo los puros. Nos hace falta de estar en nuestro centro de trabajo, en el campo, en la preindustria, en la fábrica. Our labor force is happy to make cigars at the Galera. They're happy to be at the fields cultivating tobacco. Nos trae muchas satisfacciones pertenecer a esta familia, de la cual ustedes son también parte. It brings us satisfaction to be part of the family, family that you're part of too. Así que estamos siempre atentos y muy contentos de estar aquí. So we are always happy to be here with you guys. We're beyond happy to be with you. And, and this, these are all beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things to hear. Um, Mr. Omar, first, I want to tell you that I'm absolutely in love with the painting behind you. It's, it's uh, very gorgeous. It's very authentic. It's very real. I, I love art. So the first thing that attracted my attention was that painting behind you. That's one. Two, the question that I have is, 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 And, and, I'm, and I think I'm going to be mixing two different concepts, but bear with me to tell you where my mind is going with this. We spoke, and you gentlemen, especially in your opening statements, we spoke about the stages of the growth of Nicaragua. We spoke about the importance of the sun, of the soil, of the weather. We spoke about how these blend together with the people to create amazing cigars and how the actual blend is very important. But what we are seeing today is all of a sudden technology coming into the whole picture. And being in the business for over 40 years, I don't know, maybe your reaction would be to resist it or maybe your reaction would be to embrace it. Do you feel technology where it is right now is positively adding to the industry? That's one. And two, as you're building your legacy, do you believe that technology is positively contributing to the legacy you're leaving behind? Or you feel in somehow it's diluting it? Mr. Omar? Bueno, la, el final, cómo hacer, el final de cómo hacer los puros no ha cambiado porque es hecha por artesano. O sea, tenemos que hacerlo a mano. At the end, the process of rolling a cigar, it hasn't changed. It's been, it's been done and it's been done by artists. ¿Qué nos ha garantizado la tecnología? Que podamos mantener la producción de tabaco donde hay, donde hay más incidencia en el campo porque es donde eh, han habido cambios. Technology has been more, more important at the fields 
where more changes have been done. Hemos mejorado las condiciones de los almacenes de tabaco donde se fermenta este. We have improved the conditions of the dry houses. Eso nos ha, eso nos ha facilitado tener más control de esa fermentación, de, ese, de esa materia prima que necesitamos para obtener un buen tabaco. That has made our process and our process of drying the tobacco a little bit easier. Pero cuando llegamos a la industria, a la fabricación del tabaco, tenemos que seguir casi los pasos que hemos dado en esos 40 años para fabricar un puro. But when we get to the uh, production process, we've been doing it the same way for the last 40 years. La tecnología nos ha permitido poder medir un ejemplo, humedad, a su contenido de azúcar, de los tabacos, eh, controlar eh, los momentos que necesitamos hacer eh, cambios eh, dentro de la, en el momento que se necesita hacer cambios para que la hoja logre la calidad que nosotros necesitamos. <risa> Technology has made us uh, life easier. For example, humidity, uh, measuring humidity at the pilones. Uh, technology has, uh, can tell us when to flip a pilon. La fermentación del tabaco tiene que ser la misma. No podemos cambiarla. Fermentation of the tobacco is the same. We cannot change it. Tenemos herramientas para hacerla más fácil. We have tools to make it easier. Pero cuando, cuando nosotros vamos a probar eh, o hacer una mezcla de tabaco, necesariamente tenemos que fumar hoja por hoja, tenemos que eh, saber si los tabacos son dulces, si los tabacos son compatibles para poder obtener una buena liga. That's a lot. But he said, when uh, at the fermentation, it's the same. We have tools to make it easier, but at the end, when you have to try a tobacco, if it's ready, you have to smoke it. When you want to see if a, to uh, a pilon is ready, you have to go leaf by leaf. If you want to see if the tobacco is sweet, you have to smoke it. Nosotros estamos felices con tener a mano herramientas que nos puedan facilitar eh, obtener un mejor producto. We're happy to, uh, to have technology improvements that help us to have a better product. Somos abiertos a la tecnología y a la aplicación de la misma. We are open to technology. Pero tenemos cosas que las seguimos haciendo de manera tradicional y donde le tenemos que poner ese, ese punto final que es la mano de obra y que es eh, el, el uso de nuestro paladar, el uso de, de cómo detectar los sabores, la textura, tenemos que hacerlo con, la, con las manos. They're part of the process that we have to be, that has to be done traditionally. For example, to the smell, the taste, to touch a cigar. Tenemos que aplicar tecnología para avanzar. We have to apply technology to improve. Y eso es lo que ha ayudado en Nicaragua a cambiar y a crecer. That has helped Nicaragua to change and grow. As, yeah, as Fred said, uh, nobody wants to smoke a East cigar. Exactly. exactly. Dr. Martinez, what are your thoughts? Uh, Reed, I think your, 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 your question is very, very valid and extremely profound. I, I'm not going to general, make generalizations because I, I'm afraid of generalizations, but I can say the following. In the case of the industry of cigar manufacturing and tobacco production, there is no incompatibility between tradition and introducing technology, uh, uh, which means, as very well described by Omar, there are certain things that, that can be done better if you have the, the help of technology. Uh, for instance, the drawing, okay? Drawing cigars, you need technology in order to measure 
you know, how the cigar is drawing. Uh, you need IT for in order to keep track of every portion of, of, of the production process in the case of manufacturing. You need technology uh, to just the simple thing, as Omar said, fermenting, for instance. You're not going to change the process of fermenting. You're going to improve the fermentation process by keeping better, uh, uh, better control the temperatures. Then you need te technology again. You know, uh, I, I still remember back 35 years, 40 years ago, when you measured uh, uh, the, the temperature in a very, very rudimentary manner. Now you have thermometers, special thermometers. So the, the, in as much as technology for many other things might be a tremendous challenge, it's not, it's not reversing uh, the process of maintaining what is traditional in the cigar, but at the same time improve what you are doing. So there is no incompatibility and towards the future, and I can talk from my own experience in the factory, you know, when we used to keep track of everything by hands in papers and little pieces of papers where we would write how many, how many cigars were made by X and how many were, uh, were, 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 were accepted and how many were rejected. Uh, and now we have systems, IT, that can go from the beginning of the process to the end of the process until it goes out of the factory and you follow in a very in a very modern way you know how your performance is doing how, how much time each one of us is taking to do what we have to do and and how much we can reduce that time without risking the quality of what you're doing so technology, in my opinion, for our industry has been a positive element and not an obstacle for it to continue being genuinely what tobacco and cigars are all about, which is a very unique handicraft product that requires a tremendous amount of human factor regardless of the technology that you use to to help you doing it better thank you that, that that's my my thought about your very interesting question uh red, red. right thank right you. right thank you sir thank you so you believe the technology and obviously with time there's going to be more technology in the whole process is a positive thing and you feel there's no incompatibilities between both processes because one, they go parallel, they support each other, and they're both aimed at improving the quality of the end product. That's the bottom or, line. Thing. Yeah, and, and improving the efficiency of the worker at the end of the day. At the end of the day, exactly. Okay. That's it, what it is. Okay, so from a personal point of view, culturally, okay, where do you see this going? What I are the changes in the culture or in the whole production that's happening going forward? Because, think, please. As, as we talk, as we speak right now, most manufacturers, I believe, are becoming aware of the importance of improving the quality of what each one of us has, uh, do. And we cannot do it disregarding the technology that exists uh, to keep track of our accounts, to keep track of our production process, to keep track of our fermentation process, to keep track of the inventory levels of the different products that you need to have in order to meet the demands of the market. If I were to, in that sense, uh, uh, I don't see any incompatibility. And on the contrary, I see that they go hand by hand. Obviously, 
if you just want to convert the human factor into a machine, that's another, another thing. And I don't think that that's what you are implying. Uh, no, no, that, no, no. That the future is going to go that direction. Uh, that, that will be something else, you know, that will be right. something else. Interesting. Thank you very much. Your, my pleasure, Rick. Mm -hmm. Estamos hablando de los puros premium, porque donde, donde la parte final, donde la parte de la industria. We're talking about premium cigars. Eh, siempre va a tener la, vamos a hacer las cosas con un avance, pero manteniendo la tradición. That we will make changes, improvement, but we will keep the tradition alive. La tecnología donde incide, donde tiene mayor, donde tiene mayor incidencia es en la producción de la hoja. Technology has a major impact on the production of the leaf. Hace 40 años nosotros definíamos cuándo recolectar el tabaco, cosechar el tabaco de forma eh, con, de forma rudimentaria. 40 years ago, we decided when to collect the tobacco based on our knowledge, in a really rustic way. Ahora nosotros podemos, con un equipo, por la tarde, definir si la hoja está de corte o no. Now we have a machine or a tool that during the afternoon we can try and we can see if the leaf is ready to be cut. Tenemos lo que se llaman los equipos para la cura o para el secado de la hoja sin que eh, tengamos que estar dentro de la casa. Now we have uh, tools that will help us to, uh, on the dry houses without being inside the dry house. Principalmente en la capa. More important in the wrapper. La mayor parte de la, de la, del relleno o la tripa, el filo, eh, se viene trabajando poco a poco eh, y este, dándole las herramientas a los productores y a los que lo hacemos directamente para obtener una hoja con la, de la, en el mejor momento de cosecha. With the filler, we've been working with the farmers and ourselves to give them the tools to a right process of the filler. Utilizamos todas las herramientas tecnológicas para mejorar en los tamaños de la hoja, en la textura de la hoja. We use technology to improve the size of the wrapper, the texture, sorry, the size of the leaves and the texture of the leaves. Tiene mucha importancia este, obtener una hoja perfecta para obtener un producto final perfecto. It's very important to get a perfect leaf, a perfect tobacco leaf, to get a perfect cigar. Entonces podemos jugar eh, en los tiempos para poder obtener productos de calidad. So we can play with time to get a quality product. La tecnología nos permite siempre avanzar. Hay herramientas suficientes como para hacer uso de ellas. Technology always help us to improve. There is a lot of tools that we can use. Por ejemplo, hace 40 años se nos teníamos equipos para eh, mantener la humedad relativa del centro de trabajo. 40 years ago, we had equipment to keep the uh, humidity of the work uh, area. Que no eran tan eficientes como ahora lo tenemos con una computadora que nos puede mantener la humedad que nosotros que requerimos. That we're not so efficient as now that we have a humidity uh, controllers. Eso nos ha hecho avanzar, eso nos ha hecho este, obtener muchos beneficios, incluso darle mejores condiciones a los trabajadores. That uh, technology has made us improve and also give better conditions to the labor force. Antes a lo mejor estábamos a 30 grados, a 28 grados. Ahora tenemos equipos para mantener una buena temperatura para el trabajador y una buena humedad relativa y temperatura para el tabaco. So before we could be uh, 30 degrees hot, 
But right now we have equipment that will uh, give us the exact temperature for the workers, but also the uh, a good humidity for the cigars and tobacco. No hay contradicción y podemos seguir haciendo puros de buena calidad. There is no contradiction if we will keep making uh, good cigars. Thank you. Both of you gentlemen have spoken about the manufacturing component, the craftsmanship, the technique. We, we, we took a glimpse into, into the future and the crystal ball over all these Pure Support sessions. And what, what makes me proud and grateful is to see that um, also you both have wonderful children already paving the way for the future of Nicaraguan cigars. And to sort of use the, the last question as a little bit of a segue um, into, into my next question, I'm curious as to how do you bridge those generations of tobacco knowledge? And how do you both go about passing on the knowledge that has been preserved over decades and centuries from one generation to the next? It's a nice question and has many angles to it. Again, uh, the bridge has to be uh, built on the basis that the next generation had grown appreciation and passion for what they have seen in us, previous generations, that we have done. So perseverance, perseverance on the part of those who have the responsibility to teach others, to give, to trans transfer knowledge, abilities, capacities. The capacities are more individual, but uh, that bridge is a, is, 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 is a very uh, important element uh, for guaranteeing that the next generations and the next generations continue to do the, the I use the word, let them, the next generation, do the quantic jump. Make them jump and do that quantic jump, not only for what I taught you to do, do it at, at, at your instinct, at your perseverance, learning from the perseverance and maintaining that perseverance to improve and so that you can materialize that concept of the of, of the quantic jump okay so for me and that's a, a personal uh, uh, response uh, it's no matter to, to teach them what you know the, the most important thing is to create in them the interest that what you have done is good, but it can be better. And never think that you are the better, because there is always another better, always another better. Uh, and I think in as much as the, the jump is quantic, that makes a tremendous difference. And I do it, I, I tell you with all humility. Uh, since 1993, I've been running this company directly, and it wasn't until 2005 when I started concerning myself. Well, how do I transition? Not only personally, how do I transition personally as a producer of premium cigars? How do I do back that whatever we are doing, it will be followed up by others be it my family or be it someone else who is interested with the same passion. And I was lucky enough to find in, in my son, uh, to, to, uh, he came and learned from the, from the scratches, from what was a tobacco leaf. And then uh, I said, that, and this is what I know of it. Uh, this is what I know how to do it. Um, but get in love with it, and then start doing yourself. 
what you did. And I take this, the example of, of Juan in 2005 because he completely changed many of the things that I was doing. I was very traditional, extremely traditional, with the, 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 always repeating the same story about the White House cigar, you know. But the, 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 the reality is that that's a very good, good, it's a good point for history. The important thing is how you motivate your followers, your workers, your, uh, uh, how you give leadership to those who are now running the show, that, that they are free to really do as much as the sky permits. Uh, and if we all have that philosophy, in my opinion, that process of transition becomes much easier, particularly for the old generations like myself. When I see that things are better, when the, the things are better organized, uh, be, better followed, very controlled, I, I, I feel tremendous amount of release and not challenged and not with me, risk. Well, will they do that as good as I did? Well, if they, they did it as good as I did, I, I would feel very frustrated. I did what I could with my knowledge, with my experience, but I hope that the next generations and the next generations who will be who will be part of this industry will continue to make that I would use that word which is not common quantic jumping. That's quantic jumping. That is from from we set up the the the, the, the floor. The sky is the limit. Try to reach that, and the industry can reach it. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I was. <laughs> so. Nosotros, como familia, yo, como que me ha tocado, y he tenido la bendición de, de, de dirigir este, nuestro proyecto. Eh, yo lo que, me, lo que he tratado es de identificar qué, qué es lo que puede hacer cada uno de los que vienen detrás de nosotros en, la, en el proyecto nuestro. Uh, we as a family, what I've been doing is uh, what, what he's been doing is analyzing what can be done or what's the qualities or the capacity capacity of each of the next generation on his family business para trasladar o para hacer esa transición yo creo que debemos de darle el ejemplo y el valor de lo que nosotros hacemos para que ellos le pongan amor al futuro en esta industria. For the transition, we have to be an example and we have to show them our love for the for what we do so they can start developing the same love. Debemos eh, a enseñarle a aprender de los demás, de las personas con quien nosotros trabajamos. We have to teach it. We have to teach them that they can learn from anyone. Y que sientan que lo que ellos han aprendido les va a servir para mantener ese legado. And for them to understand that the, no, the knowledge they have, they have, it's to keep the legacy. Y que vale la pena continuar y fortalecer lo que estamos haciendo. And that it's worth to keep and strengthen what we're doing. Eh, es importante que para que eh, se continúe con esta labor de, o con esta participación en la industria. It's que, very important to keep the participation of our family in the industry. Que ellos lo vean como suyo. For them to see it as their own. Y que tengan la seguridad de que eso les 
garantizará el futuro. And to be sure that that will give them a future. Tiene que haber, tiene que haber, tiene que enamorarse uno de la, de la actividad que uno hace. They have to fall in love with the activity they do. Demostrar que uno se siente contento y feliz con lo que hace. Show that they're happy with what they do. Y ser capaz de transmitirle eso para que ellos lo multipliquen. And be able to transmit it for them. Y que es muy importante lo que ellos puedan aplicar, lo que de lo que ellos saben aplicarlo en, en ese legado que nosotros le vamos a dar. And that it's very important for them to apply the knowledge on the legacy that we'll give them. Tenemos que infundirles que esta es nuestro nuestro regalo como como personas que dirigimos eh, este proyecto. We have to show them that it's our gift to them as people that run this business. Que lo sientan que eso los va a volver muy importantes ante las personas que trabajan con ellos y para quien producimos. Show them how important is this business for them and for the people that smoke the cigars and also for the labor force. Y darles chance a ellos porque necesitamos el relevo. And give them space because we need uh, the change. We need the next generation. Eh, es un, tenemos que tra, transmitirles y regalarles toda nuestra experiencia para que ellos puedan multiplicarla. We have to transmit it and show them all of, all of our experience. En nuestro caso particular que comenzamos Eh, muy joven en esta en, en este en este trabajo in, our, in our own particular case that we start very young on this industry tenemos que decirles y hacerlos sentir ese amor y pasión por lo que hacemos we have to tell them and show them our love and passion for what we do Es lo que podemos hacer para que las nuevas generaciones puedan hacerlo mejor. That's what we can do for the next generation to make our work even better. Um, those are touching words. Those are both Mr. Omar and Dr. Martinez. Uh, these are seriously touching words and I thank you for them. Um, Speaking of trust and the kind of trust that you put in your children, the kind of trust you put in the next generation, uh, Reinhard and I are truly honored to have had the opportunity to be trusted with the Pura Sabor show. And I'm curious as to how your experience has been with the virtual Pura Sabor show. I know you've said before that you're looking forward for us to meet in person, to hug and cuddle and 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 be very close and smoke to each other. Uh, did you? Uh, what has been your 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 experience in this, and what have you heard this show? I I would love to hear your feedback. Well, I I I think uh, I'm going to take the the floor uh, right away. Just to say the following, I believe that we are dealing with a very exceptional situation where we cannot see each other, as, touch each other, you know, as we used to do it. But this is going to be temporal. Uh, so I see that what we are now doing is the second best solution to the reality that the the, the other solution was that we didn't even have a way to talk to each other. Uh, you know, so God thanks that we we have this technology today that without having to be present, you are present. I can see the eyes of each one of you when I 
I center my attention on each square in front of me, and, I, and obviously I, I don't ha I don't have the feeling that I have when I hug you, and when I when I handshake it with you, or when I smoke by your side. But it's a second best solution, a second best solution that uh, we need to learn about it to really make it less painful that separation that as human beings we feel uh, that is obligated because of other better things which is to ensure that everybody keeps its, himself in good health so if i have to pay a price i'm ready to accept this as a as a, as a blessing to that exists you know and that we can share it, uh, and be able to meet as a group who like cigars, with whom we can talk, with whom we can interact. Uh, and uh, in that second best solution, I feel comfortable, very comfortable. And I uh, now how these episodes have been and, and what re repercussions we want to measure on them, I think it's too early. The important thing is that to keep the contact. I see faces, I see Indira, I see Michael, e, I see uh, Nestor, I see uh, Sam, I see Indiana, I see Mary, I see Ray, uh, Valerie, and thank you for your comments, by the way. Uh, for me, it's brothers and sisters, always. Uh, I cannot walk into my factory without recognizing that more than 60% of my employees are women. So I'm addressing to them too. I am addressing to the men and women who work in Dominican Republic, in Cuba, in Honduras, and all my love to them. Even though we each one are running in the same competition, but the important thing is the humanity of it. And I think this opportunity of the Camera de Nicaragüense de Tabacaleros, which, by the way, uh, is something that it took us, Omar, myself, and, and, and many others, Nestor Plasencia and others, to think about it, how to make it possible. And I'm so happy that uh, the Camera has kept itself as it has been kept, thanks to so many people, uh, which I'm not going to name each one individual to the present uh, the, the direct uh, members of the board or of the camera to each each regardless of how many competition there is between us my 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 love and my appreciation because th that's very important that we keep in the eyes and in the hearts of everyone that Nicaraguan tobacco and its producers and its manufacturers are all together in the same in the same boat, trying to maintain alive, trying to to navigate this new normality in which we are. And uh, so I appreciate that when Seslao and the board of directors of CNT decided to invite me to be here with you today. For me, it has been a great pleasure. And I am sure that uh, I am not going to talk for anybody else, but I, for myself, just seeing you refresh me. It gives me energy. Thank you, sir. Esto, esta, esta actividad que se hizo, que hizo, que hicieron la Cámara Nicaragüense en conjunto con el equipo. This activity of the episodes that the CNT made with the team. Nos mantiene vivo y unidos. It keeps us alive and together. Nos mantiene en familia, en comunicación. It keeps us in family and in communication. Eh, nos demuestra que sí queremos esta actividad. It shows us that we really want this activity. Llamamos el tabaco. That we love tobacco. Porque ponemos tiempo, unos en participar, todos los que participamos, ponemos ese tiempo. 
because we give our time to be here. Entonces demuestra que es importante lo que se ha hecho. So it shows that it's important. Miramos que hemos tocado diferentes áreas we eh, have, del tabaco. We have talked about different areas of tobacco. Es una experiencia compartida. It's a shared experience. Es una es una eh, experiencia que nos ha llevado a vivir qué es lo que hacemos en el tabaco del tabaco en Nicaragua. It's an experience that has shown us what we done, what we do at the tobacco in Nicaragua. Hay muchos participantes que estuvieron siempre en todos los eventos. There are some participants that were here on all episodes. Eso merece un aplauso para ellos. That deserves an round of applause. <laughs> Nos sentimos muy agradecidos porque estamos en contacto. We are thankful because we are in contact. Preparándonos para futuros eventos donde nos podamos, donde podamos compartir y contarnos todo lo que sentimos por el tabaco de Nicaragua. Preparing for future events where we will share our love and passion for Nicaraguan tobacco. Entonces hay que estar agradecido por eso. So we have to be thankful for that. Y celebrar de que continuamos unidos y que estamos preparados para futuros eventos. And celebrate that we're still united and prepare for future events. Yo un agradecimiento a, a todos los que formaron el equipo, eh, a todos los que participaron, a todos los que pusieron su tiempo. A personal thank for the team all the participants and all uh, the people that participate on the episodes. Así que aquí estamos a la orden y siempre dispuestos a colaborar. So we're here always happy to help. That is such a wonderful and strong statement. And we obviously want to, to say a massive and big thank you as well through many different ways. One of them being that we want to say thank you to the chamber all the efforts that have been made in order to, to create something memorable and, and meaningful. And that's why during our last session, we announced that the Dried and the Leaf Masters have created a wonderful series of Nicaraguan themed accessories that will be auctioned uh, for a charitable cause. And uh, for one more week, we will run the, 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 the opportunity to participate and be part of that special auction where these three first sets of Nicaraguan themed accessories will be auctioned and the charitable causes for the Nicaraguan Chamber of Tobacco will be supported by that. First, he wants to say something. Sorry. Yo quiero expresar este un sentimiento de de cariño y de felicidad y agradecerles a todos como lo he dicho. He wants to show a feeling of thankful to all of you at he said. Pero quiero hacer mención especial de los los que nos trajeron el tabaco como un cultivo alternativo en este país. But he wants to make a special announcement of thankful to the people that brought the tobacco to Nicaragua. Yo quiero hacer mención especial de Don Orlando Padrón. He wants to make a special de Don Gilberto Olivas. To Orlando Padrón, Gilberto Oliva. Don Sixto Plasencia, entre ellos. Sixto Don Plasencia. Juan Francisco Bermejo. Juan Francisco Bermejo. Eh, eh, y todos aquellos, Don Ángel Olivas, que vinieron a explorar las tierras de Nicaragua para establecer el cultivo del tabaco negro o el tabaco habano. They came to Nicaragua to explore the Por... possibility to grow black tobacco in Nicaragua. Entonces, y a todos los trabajadores de Nicaragua que gracias a ellos y nosotros que somos parte de ellos logramos eh, poner el tabaco en Nicaragua en en una buena posición. And all the workers in Nicaragua, we among them for all their support and help to make Nicaraguan tobacco an excellent tobacco. Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you very much to all of you. I joined those words that Omar has said 
that recognition to the history of those who did their efforts to explore Nicaragua uh, then, at that time, back in the 1960s, uh, my recognition to all the consumers who have been loyal to Nicaragua for so many years, and my recognition to the workers, not the last, but the number one, the workers and the producers in the fields who have been kept with the uh, enthusiasm, not only to do what they did, but to be able to set the seed for us to really take it from there and move on. Now the time is for jumping up and uh, we encourage you all who have taken the time to share with us this session of Netflix Netflix camera chamber <laughs> the, to take the time thank you for every single minute you did to it your perseverance and obviously I have to say Reinhardt uh, Red and all of those who have been posing the questions those who have comment at the side you know uh, Valerie thank you for your comments uh, and obviously, thank you to everybody. And our love and appreciation is there, not only commercial interests. We hope you enjoy cigars as part of your life, because life is for enjoyment in a prudent manner, not in excess, that I say to myself when I smoke four cigars a day. I said, no, I have to lower it down a little bit. You know, I. I, I uh, but I enjoy it so much. I, I do so many things with while smoking. How many thoughts it occurred to me and how many things that I do. So thank you, God. Thank you to God, number one. My God, my universe. Thank you to you too that uh, have encouraged us to continue doing the better. And thank you to all those who have put their little seed to make it flowered and to make it grow. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful words. I would like to briefly give um, to gentlemen and, and, and dear friends and followers from our audience um, the opportunity to speak up because they, they had raised a, their hand for quite a while. And then I would uh, love to, to continue the show by announcing the winners of our Pure Sabor virtual raffle right after that. So um, over to Brian in Los Angeles first. Hello, good afternoon. Um, yeah, actually, I I had a I found a Zoom hack. Uh, I found out that if I raise my hand, I come to the top of. So my narcissistic American self has realized that I'm on the video on the feed. So no. Uh, I actually do have a, I do have a question and, and some compliments. Um, oh, sorry about the noise. Bad timing. Uh, um, first, I wanted to uh, compliment uh, Rod, your uh, artwork as well. When you were complimenting the artwork, um, we're actually going to start a poll on Facebook and we're going to vote uh, to see which camp people are in, Maryland in color or Maryland in black and white. Um, no, I hate to be funny after all the sincere comments, uh, more, more compliments to Dr. Martinez. I love your use of the word perseverance. It's one of my favorite words. And also just the way you conduct yourself, both of you with such, uh, all of you with such, uh, etiquette and manners and, and graciousness. Um, thank you. I was curious. I had a question about, uh, earlier, I really liked it when you were speaking about the workers and uh, making a family and making sure that they uh, feel happy and, and part of an important process. And I'm curious about that coupled with growth because uh, growth is there. And I've noticed in my own tiny business, I actually stopped growth for the sake of quality. I was gonna bring on more people 
and then I didn't. I made that choice. Um, I think I would be a terrible boss or maybe just too nice of a boss. I'm not sure. But um, I wonder, like you see companies that get too big and they have this amazing success. And at a certain point, they sacrifice quality. McDonald's, you know, Amazon is having politics with their workers trying to unionize and they're discouraging their workers from unionizing and things like this. So I'm curious how you juggle and balance growth with quality and from the worker's perspective as well. um, At a certain point, you know, do you kind of have to say that we have to stop here or people will be overworked uh, and things like that? It's, it's, a, it's quite a valid uh, concern. Uh, where, do you, where do you cross the line? Where, where do you set the line? You know, growth. Uh, I think as long as the capacity of our workers, uh, and that's why we need a lot, of, a, a lot of communication with our clients, with our customers. Uh, because uh, sometimes, you know, for reasons completely afar from us, like, let me give you an example, the logistics. The logistics uh, is also going through a very difficult time. Transportation costs have increased tremendously. Uh, uh, and at the same time, tremendous delays in delivering what they should have delivered months ago. So a lot of understanding when, there, when our factories request, request particularly uh, our customers, be patient. Be patient because we know that if we rush, what, we are not doing you a favor. We are not doing you a favor. You don't want to receive a product that is not ready to, to be smoked. We need to give the 40 days sitting after we made the cigar, uh, cooling itself and preparing itself before it got into packaging. Can we reduce those, the, the, those, those, those times? Yeah. If you only think in growth, you can reduce it, but you're risking your own yourself with the quality of what is going to come out there and the same thing you know we had uh, experiences in the industry and I'm not going to talk only from the side of Hoya de Nicaragua and I think everybody in the industry knows and we, we don't like to talk about it but there are delays in the manufacture of, 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 of boxes because they are not raw materials and it's taking longer for them to receive those raw materials not because of the 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 noise not because of the noise it's because the big noise around the world you know that is in, uh, impeding uh, transport companies to deliver what they can in the times that they at the beginning agreed obviously uh, the market doesn't wait that i know you know and what you did not sell today you did not sell it, you know. And I know that is concerning. It's concern for you and concern for us too, okay? But we need to be in this as a, as a family. Oh, the consumer, the distributor, the retailer, the producer, the, 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 the factory that makes the boxes, or the factory that provides the pins and the different... Uh, uh, packaging materials, we have to be like a team with patience, perseverance, yes, but taking it easy. Don't make growth be your own killing factor because it, it, it can become that. And I say that to my own people in my factory. Yes, we want to meet all the demand. We don't want back backload orders, but, but if you accelerate the process, you, you're doing something outside of guaranteeing the quality. And that's the reason why we are where we are, because of quality. So uh, I take the opportunity from Rand after he asked that question to talk about that issue, where we need to be partners. 
we need to be partners not only uh, among our own, uh, our, our, our own group, the producers, the manufacturers. We need to be partners with you as a consumer, as a retailer, as a distributor, uh, uh, as, as the final uh, recipient of our products. And let me assure you, at least from the side of Hoya de Nicaragua, and I, I think I can talk by uh, on the name of all the rest of members of the chamber, we want to keep jumping. We don't want only to grow this year and then next year pay the consequence of not having done the, the, the things that you should have done. Tenemos que crecer con responsabilidad. We have to grow responsibly. No podemos poner, eh, no podemos poner eh, la industria en peligro de lo que nos pudo, de lo que nos pasó en 1998. We cannot do the same that we did in 1998. Put our industry in risk. Las compañías en Nicaragua están en manos de está en manos de personas que saben del negocio. Companies in Nicaragua are in hands of people that knows about the industry. Y me refiero al negocio que es para mantenerlo siempre. And I talk about business that is to be a long-term business. Cuando 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 se presentan los problemas generalmente es cuando aparece gente ajena a la industria. When problems show is when people outside the industry it's running. Que desconoce people that don't know el tiempo que se requiere para obtener un puro de buena calidad. The time that it's needed for a, a cigar to be a good quality. Para poder fumarse un puro, se tiene que pasar por lo menos cuatro años desde que se pone la semilla al suelo. To smoke a good cigar, it takes four years, at least four years, from the time that you place the seed on the soil. Eso es como mínimo. That's a mínimo. Entonces, si aparece, si la industria la manejamos como lo hemos hecho. If we run the industry as we have done. Con esa responsabilidad y amor que le tenemos. Al tabaco, With that responsibility and love for the tobacco, no va a haber ningún riesgo. We don't have any chance, any risk. Entonces tenemos que el fumador mismo tiene que saber de dónde se tiene que fumar, de dónde es el origen de los puros que se fuman. So the final smoker has to know where the cigars are when he smoke. Estamos seguros de que La gente que está creciendo lo está haciendo con la sabiduría que requiere esta, esta, esta industria. We know that the people or the factories that are growing, they're doing it with the responsibility and knowledge of this industry. Y con un conocimiento amplio de que la industria requiere de tiempo. And with that with the knowledge that this industry needs time. Que no, no, no es, no es fácil eh, hacer una fábrica, hacer una siembra como se hacen, como se hacen las demás industrias. It's not easy to build a factory or to start a growing facility. Todo esto lleva tiempo. All takes time. Y no podemos, y no podemos cruzar la línea De, de crecer sin calidad. And we cannot cross the line of growing without quality. En Nicaragua estamos seguros de que las cosas se están haciendo bien. In Nicaragua we are sure that things are being done correctly. Many thanks for the question and, and your detailed answers. Great answers. Thank you so much. Thank you. The last 30 cigars I think I smoked were Nicaragua and they're so, so good. Cheers. Thank you. Many thanks, Brian. And uh, let's jump over to Rich Lai for a brief question or comment.
Thank you, Reinhardt. It's good to see uh, Senor Ortiz and Senor Cuenca and a happy bladed birthday, Senor Cuenca. Hope you had a blessed one. Thank um, you. Thank you for, 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 for remembering it. Gracias. <laughs> Um, we've talked a lot about the manufacturing side, but what about the agriculture side? Is Nicaragua farming tobaccos such that they don't burn out or don't create wastelands in their soil? Do you understand the question? Yes, I do. I, I do perfectly well. Uh, I, I like Omar, to, who is the man in the field that talked by his own experience, and then I'll follow him up. Omar. Él dice. Él quiere hablar más de la siembra, ¿no? Correcto. Del campo. Del campo. Bueno. Podemos este, tocar o abordar lo que nosotros hacemos en el campo. Eh, eh, Generalmente, nosotros hemos tratado el tabaco como una joya, ¿no? We have uh, treated the tobacco in the field as a jewel. Que tenemos que cuidarla desde que ponemos la semilla. Something that we have to look for since we put the seeds on the field. A través del tiempo, hemos adquirido, hemos adquirido experiencias que nos han llevado a obtener Eh, resultados que eh, nos dan como fruto un buen pulo. On time, we have, we have gained experience that will give us a good tobacco to make a good cigar. Eh, el tabaco en el campo generalmente pasa o su ciclo es aproximadamente de nueve meses. Tobacco on the fields has a cycle of approximately nine months. Desde ahí comenzamos a utilizar nuestras manos. From there we start using our hands. Continuamos en la preindustria hasta llegar a ser el puro. We continue to pre-industry until we get production. Tanto en el campo como en la industria se necesitan de conocimientos eh, que nos aseguren garantizar una buena hoja. As the same as on the fields and on the uh, production floor, we need knowledge to guarantee a good leaf. El tabaco necesita mucha mano de obra. Tobacco needs a lot of labor force. Y corremos un riesgo eh, cuando eh, esa mano de obra de campo quiere trabajar también en las fábricas o en las preindustrias. And then we have the risk when that labor force on the field wants also to work on the production cycle. Tratamos de que el personal de campo tenga las condiciones para que haga un buen trabajo. We tried and we do to give the labor force on the fields a good condition, working conditions. Usamos semillas que tienen mucho tiempo de estar en producción. Our seeds have a lot of time on production. Ese es el éxito de la industria. That's the success of the industry. Obtener buenas hojas. Grow good leaf. Obtener hojas que tengan las condiciones para obtener un buen sabor, aroma y fortaleza en los pulos. Live with the condition to give us aroma, strength, Tenemos que usar la tecnología, volviendo al punto S, para poder lograrlo. We have to use technology, going back to that point, to be able to fulfill it. Hacer uso de ella para que, para mantener las variedades que son aptas para hacer los puros. Use technology to keep the variety of seeds that we need uh, to make a good cigars. El tabaco lo tenemos que Eh, lo tenemos que manejar de una manera muy delicada. Tobacco is handled in a very gentle way. 
para que el puro pueda tener las condiciones, todo lo que el fumador requiere. So at the end, the cigar will have all the flavors and aromas that the final smoker requires. No podemos utilizar eh, insumos que afecten eh, la calidad del tabaco. We cannot use supply, supplies that will affect the quality of the tobacco. Tenemos que crecer las plantas en condiciones que nos den un buen, un buen producto. We have to make sure the plants grow in good conditions to give us a good cigar. Hemos ido creciendo paulatinamente con eh, cada año. We have been growing steadily each year. La demanda de hojas o de tabaco para la industria nos ha llevado a crecer eh, en el campo de, y pasamos de 1970 que se, eh, que se sembraban tal vez unas eh, 600 hectáreas. The uh, growth of demand of cigars, Nicaraguan cigars, and actual demands of tobacco has made us grow. In 1997, we, we grow 600 hectares. A, a, a 4,000 hectáreas. And now it's 4,000 hectares. Producimos tabaco para la industria de Nicaragua y producimos tabaco para exportar. We produce tobacco for our own industry here in Nicaragua, but we also export tobacco. Muchos tabacos de la, de la industria fuera de Nicaragua llevan estas hojas. A lot of cigars outside Nicaragua has Nicaraguan tobacco. Eso, eso, eso el crecimiento eh, se ve en Estelí, se ve en la parte norte de Nicaragua. That grow shows in the north part of Nicaragua. Y también eso ha llevado a que en la implementación de, de la tecnología haya, se haya irradiado la, en el campo con los productores. That grow has also helped us Apply technology on the fields. Es muy importante eh, el aporte que hacen las fábricas al campo. It's very important the input of the cigar factories to the fields. La mayor parte de, del crecimiento del tabaco es, es con, le, la, con, la, con el aporte que hacen las las fábricas. Because as cigar demand grows for the factories, also the tobacco demand grows. También se ha invertido en el campo. We have also invest on the fields. Hay muchos inversionistas, muchos dueños de fábrica que se han volcado a transformar el campo. We have investors, cigar factory owners that have invest on the field. Y nos ha llevado a, a manejar el tabaco de una forma que obtengamos mejores resultados. And that led us to improve the process to get a better tobacco. Tanto económicos como de mejoramiento en la vida de la parte norte de Nicaragua. Improvements not only on the economic but also on the labor force living on the north part. Hay un beneficio para todos. There is a benefit for everyone. We also have a brief uh, statement or question from Valerie. I was, uh, thank you for a wonderful session. Thank you for accepting my question. If you've gone from 600 hectares to 4,000 hectares, do you ever let portions of uh, the fields rest between crops? Generalmente, los campos de tabaco solo se utilizan una vez al año. Thank you, tobacco Valerie. Tobacco fields only used once a year. Hacerlo <laughs> más de eso nos no lleva a un riesgo. Do it more than once a year, it will lead us to a risk. Tenemos que, tenemos que rotar los cultivos. We have to rotate the 
en algunos casos. We have to rotate in, on some cases. Entonces, sembramos tabaco y después sembramos comida. So, we grow tobacco first and then we grow food. For example, beans. Por ejemplo, <laughs> por ejemplo, frijoles que nos da la comida y le aporta al suelo para la futura cosecha. For example, beans that will give us food and also help the field for the next crop of tobacco. Si lo hacemos bien, tenemos que hacerlo así. If we want to do it right, we have to do it like that. Si no hay un efecto negativo en la producción de tabaco. If not, there will be a negative effect on the tobacco. Se necesita mucha área y que tenga buenas condiciones. In, we need a lot of areas and good conditions. Y la responsabilidad nuestra es ser amigable con el ambiente y mantener las condiciones de la tierra. And our goal is to be friendly to the environment and keep the quality of the fields. Entonces no solo podemos sembrar y cosechar. So we not only grow tobacco. Tenemos que cuidar para el futuro. We have to take care of the field for the future. All right. Dr. Martinez Cuenca, I believe you wanted to, to, to add to the question as well, correct? Well, uh, I, I missed uh, a, a portion of it, but uh, I, I, I thought that it was most concentrated in the idea of production in the fields. And I think we, it, it, it is a privilege to have Omar here who more than anybody else is capable of responding those questions in a very affirmative way and at the same time illustrate the complexity of how tobacco and how compatible it is to use the land of tobacco for food that is, that is important for the, for the well-being of the people and at the same time reinforces uh, all those nutrients that the previous crop gives for a better quality of, of tobaccos. So in, a, in as much as we are using the soil in a very friendly way, I think it's fantastic. And I think, uh, and I will not add any more to what already has been said by Omar. Uh, I don't know if there was another angle which I missed because unfortunately I had a telephone call uh, which was supposed to be at at, at six, and, and I thought that I we would be in the in the meet in the in, in in the brink of closing our our meeting. I'm not closing it. I have no no authority to for that. But uh, I had to attend something urgently, so I missed part of it. But I I was hearing, and I I would say I reinforce his his statements. Thank you. Brilliant. Many thanks. So well. Let's get to the nitty gritty and uh, let's share the exciting news of what we try to to give back and and our our way to try and say thank you for all the wonderful help and support for the community and the camaraderie and and the people who accompanied us over the past few months, the people who shared the the word, who shared the love, and uh, who've been part of this journey. We have five prizes overall for our raffle for, for this year's Pure Sabor. It contains three boxes of Pure Sabor special edition cigar boxes by all the members of the Chamber of Tobacco in Nicaragua. And we have two tickets for next year's virtual, the not virtual, but physical Pure Sabor to get it over with, of course people meeting up in, in Nicaragua. That's what we all yearn for. That's what we all long for. And uh, thus, hopefully, we will all see each other again next year in Nicaragua. Let's start with our three boxes of cigars. The first lucky winner of, of a box of Nicaraguan cigars from all the members of the Chamber of Tobacco is Miss Maureen Jimenez. And for all the winners, by the way, please um, be on the lookout tomorrow for the notifications. 
in your social media accounts. We'll be in touch and we'll make sure to, to get all your details in order to have the prices ready for you. Our second box of cigars goes to Rafael Fafa Zapata. And our third and final box of cigars from Nicaragua goes to the gentleman and brother of the leaf, Edson Sumbana. And now the moment that you've all been waiting for, we, we need a little drum roll or, or something here. Um, let's, go, let's go to the tickets for uh, the Pur Sabor in 2022. The first recipient and lucky winner of one of the main prizes will be Mr. Ken Hamlin. And ultimately, and finally, and I couldn't think of uh, any other person who, who deserves this prize uh, as much for all the continuous love and support. The last ticket for Pur Support 2022 goes to Miss Valerie Bradshaw. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. Thank you. It's funny it is our little way to say thank you life. to all the community and camaraderie. Um, thank you all for being part of this wonderful, wonderful program and journey. Um, we most definitely hope to see all of you in person in 2022 in Nicaragua. But um, let's bring in the maestro and uh, let's bring in Claudio for a few words regarding this year's Pure Support. Claudio, it's so, so good to see you, my brother. Um, just after PCA, when we met in Las Vegas, um, now again behind the screen, um, but uh, what a pleasure and joy to see you. And thank you so much for being here with us today as well. Uh, I gotta say, I'm uh, kind of emotional tonight. Emotional because uh, we have been uh, witnessing, uh, you know, a piece of history of Nicaragua. And not only because uh, Don Omar uh, or Dr. Cuenca was tonight uh, uh, with us, but because it's been uh, a kind of journey from uh, welcoming everybody to Nicaragua in the first episode uh, through the legends, uh, through marketing, uh, to big factories, uh, small factories, uh, to the people working, uh, showing uh, what's going on in the factories. It is... Uh, for me, a special moment. And when I say a special moment, it is a special moment for Nicaragua. Uh, I would say that tonight, uh, El Dr. Cuenca and Don Omar uh, has been uh, spending words uh, on something that is uh, extremely important. I remember when I passed my uh, high school exam uh, in uh, literatures, uh, the composition was, uh, uh, the history is uh, the soul uh, of people. And through history, they can uh, develop uh, the future. So you have been uh, witnessing uh, what has been uh, the beginning of the history, the history of tobacco and cigars in Nicaragua, the evolution of that. And you've been uh, seeing uh, and listening uh, to the problems, uh, to the historical moments, uh, to the tough moments uh, and the nice moments. Uh, we have been uh, through uh, a lot of the episodes uh, touching uh, the, uh, I would say the, my stones of the Nicaraguan tobacco industry. But I have to say the history of the people in Nicaragua. Uh, we are here for, uh, uh, not for, but because of Dr. Cuenca and Don Omar, because of uh, Don Orlando Padron, because of, uh, I had the, 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 you know, the, uh, the true honor uh, to meet uh, uh, the Don Oliva. We are calling him a Don Oliva, okay? And uh, we have been uh, through uh, such a huge pages of history uh, in these decades 
that right now are showing you that even though it has been a nice, good, tough, boom, no boom, difficult, we are still here. Dr. Cuenca said, uh, and Don Omar said, uh, two very important things. The, uh, the tobacco chamber, we are all together. There is not a barrier, so there is not uh, nothing in between us that can stop us. That's my translation, okay? Because when we are talking, uh, uh, you know, innovation and, and all those things, it means that we are here all together to keep going and even improving what we did through whatever we did through, okay? Another thing, and take this, uh, Dr. Cuenca and Don Omar, uh, uh, take this as a, you know, a compliment, because I put myself as well. I had my first cell phone, I was uh, 24 years old, okay? You started, because we have to say that, you started the entire industry in Nicaragua, no computers, no softwares, nothing. People burning the neck in the fields and trying and trying. And they said one of the most important thing in Nicaragua, we are open to learn. That's why innovation. One of the secrets in Nicaragua has been welcome Whoever can bring uh, an innovation uh, in Nicaragua, we are willing uh, to put that in our shaker, making our cocktail. And that's why Nicaragua today is uh, not the first uh, producer of cigars. It's the best one. That's what I want to say. There is a huge difference uh, to say we are the biggest in the world and we are the best in the world. I've been shy to say that. But through the 10 episodes, I can say today, I'm uh, not honored, uh, but I'm, uh, you know, it has been a dream uh, to represent uh, the true legends of tobacco in the planet that they are today in Nicaragua to make sure that the Nicaraguan experience that every smoker can have uh, any time. Because we said back orders, production, no, no, no. Everybody can have any time to enjoy not only as we are calling a product, but it is a, a cigar, it is a people behind, it is a, the culture of a country, it is a, the fifth economy of a country that today is proud to say Nicaragua is world famous because tobacco and cigars, no matter what today, demonizing tobacco and cigars. No, 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 no. We are not talking, uh, talking about that. We are at the cultural level. For the first time after 10 years uh, they, that I moved in Nicaragua in 2012, I go down the street uh, in Nicaragua and in Esteli, there is people smoking cigars. You never saw that 10 years ago, 15 years ago. 15 years ago was a Dr. Cuenca smoking cigars. <laughs> it was a Don Omar. It was people fermenting tobacco to try that. Today, there is a culture. Today, people know the cigars are part of Nicaraguan people. When we say Nicaraguan people, it is not just an employee. It is not just a salary. It's a crowd of uh, everybody working in this can say, you in the United States, in Canada, in Africa, in Asia, nowhere doesn't matter. You are enjoying a piece of our passion, a piece of our love and our people, but most than that, a piece of the blood that we had during all these decades to develop something that today represents our proud. Now, Reynard, I, I, I should say, Reynard, right, I should say, no, you know what? The first thing tonight, it's Maria Jose. First time a translator. I have been a translator before to start in tobacco. She's the best one. <laughs> I have to say thank you to someone that is behind the scenes. Nobody, maybe, 
nobody knows him. Venceslao is uh, the executive director of the chamber. He's the heart beating uh, of the chamber. He's the one sitting there every day, making sure that we are sitting here right now. I want to say thank you to uh, all the uh, characters, legends, uh, people, everybody that participated uh, to the episodes. It has been, uh, uh, you guys, uh, you Rain and I, right, you know, difficult. It has been uh, challenging. It has been a journey, but uh, man, uh, we, we, all of us, uh, we only know what has been, uh, but you know what? We did history. The word history has a couple of meanings. Uh, witness and uh, to be there to have an experience. I hope uh, that through the chamber, everybody, everybody that participated to the episode, Reynard, thank you to you, Raid, thank you to you. We are experiencing a, an historical moment, not only in tobacco and cigars, but in Nicaragua. We always forget the history. Don't forget that uh, as I did my composition uh, in my high school degree. The history, it's our uh, uh, bibliotech. It's our library. The history makes us better. We are witnessing uh, right now a piece of history in the cigar, tobacco, and in a country. Take this, put it in your pocket, uh, and uh, to your son, uh, nephew, to your friends, uh, say, I was there. Even though you won't be there to say that, enjoy the moment. Because uh, you are uh, in an historical moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Right. Um, maybe I should say thank you as well. Um, besides being a little speechless, obviously, um, yeah. it, it was a wonderful journey. Um, we had thousands of people logging on to our shows, watching the live streams, re-watching the episodes over and over again. We had multiple icons and some of the greatest people that the cigar world has to offer joining us, sharing their in-depth knowledge, their expertise and experience with us in the most generous and heartfelt way. And uh, it just re-emphasis and shows us yet again that the world of handmade premium cigars is unlike any other that we can experience. It is not a product, but it is an entire ecosystem. It is a world, it is a community that we all are blessed and fortunate to be a part of. And that makes me grateful. It, it's an honor and uh, to have made a, a small contribution to this world, hopefully, by hosting these sessions together with you, Ride, and together with all of you out there from Asia, the Middle East, Africa, Europe, the United States, Middle and South America has been truly, truly wonderful and exceptional. So Ride, first of all, to you, my dear brother, a sincere thank you for being on this roller coaster ride together with me and, and, and everybody else. And to all of you guys watching, thank you from heart for jumping on this ride together with us. This has been an amazing and a humbling experience. I honestly thank you all for welcoming us to your homes, welcoming us to your offices, and me personally welcoming me to this amazing new family that I absolutely love and adore and look forward to spending time with. Uh, for everybody that has worked with us on this, from the chamber, uh, Claudio, Reinhard, putting your trust in me, is something that I will always cherish and thank you. Uh, and uh, two more amazing uh, shows ahead, I hope. Thank you very much. Everybody give yourself a tap on the shoulder. This has been great. <laughs> <laughs> Jensa, I have uh, one last word. 
I really hope uh, to see you in January uh, 2022. Uh, as Dr. Cuenca said, uh, we, we are missing touching people. Touching people means uh, seeing each other, experiencing each other. There is no barriers. There is no borders. Uh, I think the, uh, no, I think, uh, I am sure that when we smoke a cigar, we are all the same. And we have uh, the same passion to share and that's will make us uh, not an industry, not a community, but a culture. When you make this a culture, nobody can get against this. Because uh, it's not me, it's not you, it is uh, all together doing this. And uh, remember, Dr. Cuenca, Omar, Don Omar, uh, I can mention all the people in the episode, uh, uh, Jonathan, Drew, uh, everybody. We can make uh, the best uh, blend and cigar ever. I remember, there is people sitting there every day making magic, magic for you to enjoy. So respect uh, to the people and respect uh, to a country that is turning uh, a product as we are calling it years ago, into culture. The history, it is not made uh, uh, one day to the other day. It is uh, a revolution. It is uh, uh, a movement. It is a trend. It is uh, all together making sure that one country, as it is Nicaragua today, no matter what, noise or no noise, to mention again some word that we are saying, we're going to be here because since years, uh, this is cultural. And culture, it is uh, to be enjoyed. It is not uh, to be paid, to be uh, gained. No, culture is to share. So please share with us our cigar culture. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Let's give Mr. Omar Ortiz and afterwards Dr. Martinez Cuenca one final word, please. I think uh, from my side, uh, I don't have any more comments except uh, a completely convene and agree on what uh, our president or the chamber has mentioned the words that we have heard from everyone who has expressed itself. So my gratitude to all of you and thank you for being with us in this episode. Thank to be continued. Gracias, gracias. Eh, me siento contento de haber estado compartiendo con ustedes. Les deseo éxitos a todos y que sigamos juntos para seguir adelante y hacer de Nicaragua siempre el país del tabaco. Thank you. I'm honored and happy to be here. Thank you for all of you to be here and let's keep together to make Nicaragua the tobacco country. So. Tenth episode of our virtual Pure Support, the end of a tremendous journey and history in the making. Thank you one and all for being part of this exceptional program. Many thanks again to Ride, to the entire chamber of Tobacco in Nicaragua, to all the people who helped us creating this wonderful, wonderful experience. And it's merely the beginning. We'll be here for, for many, many more episodes, get togethers, herfs, and pure supports though. So thank you one and all, and we'll see you all again super, super soon. Thanks for everything. Be safe and well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.